sideways issue too. And we continue the story of Derek, who's sideways, and his friend uh, Ernie. And basically, we left last left last issue off with uh, him coming across this Tempest Fugitoid or whatever his name was. Uh, mm-hmm. And he's like, "Hey, you're manipulating the space time continuum. I can't be having this." And it can block his power because, like, sideways is trying to, like, you know, teleport out of there. And mm-hmm. basically realizes that it's because like he's blocking it. So his plan is to jump off the building and hopefully that by the time he gets close to the bottom, he will be far and way enough from him that he can open a rift and, and get through. Which he does. Uh, so it's a fun little action moment. But he gets injured and he ends up going to the hospital. Yeah, well, he makes it to Ernie and Ernie takes him to the hospital. Um, mm-hmm. And his mum comes by. Uh, and there's a lot of fun character stuff in this issue. I think it did a really good job of like if you consider the first two as the pilot almost of the of the, of the series. Because this one, we got a bit more of a flashback to like how he got his powers in Gotham, but not from his perspective, from his mother's perspective. Because when his mother comes in all yeah. worried, and she's like, "No, hey, like, like I'm a concerned mother," and she like she flashes back to Gotham and how, from her perspective, he just disappeared for like six days after this big mountain appeared, and she was like searching, thinking he might be dead, and then she eventually found him in a hospital. Uh, unconscious, mm. and it was you know, it was like okay, so this is has to add some like this has given her some proper character, and uh, she makes reference to the fact that you know he's adopted and that she may not have given birth, but she's her, her you know, his right. mother, and she's going to do what she can to protect him. Uh, but there was some fun character stuff because he's kind of mad at Ernie from like calling her, he's like, What you were like dying, and I was worried, like, I had to call mm-hmm. someone. Um, so it was, I, I felt like I got a really good sense of the characters a little bit more after this issue, uh, and it was nice that after the opening. Uh, and I'm sure we'll come back to the big Tempest guy. Like I'm sure we'll, because I've, I've got a feeling where it's going to go with him is that he's not a villain. It's that by the end of the first arc, he's probably going to accept that Sideways is like a, a new agent of his that can you know right. go through rifts and like help stop things happening or whatever. But basically, yeah, this... it sounds a little like Vibe. I don't know if you read the, the early Vibe stuff during. I did um, not. Did no. It sounds very much like Vibe. But there's a a new villain shows up in the hospital towards the end. Like they're they're, they're doing their thing, and a villain shows up. Uh, called Kill Speed, who is not a speedster, but she's very fast. It looks like she she glides on. I don't want to say ice. Was it ice or air? I don't know. But you see, like, like you know, in the art, there's like an effect of like. There's no friction. Yeah. yeah. She's like gliding around really quickly. She's zigzagging around. Uh, so which is kind of cool. The, the name's about whatever, but she's she's jumping around and basically Ernie's like, hey, like teleports out here, and, and he, he makes a point of saying he's never taken anyone else through a rift, and he doesn't know if that's safe. So he's not willing to do it. So that's something we can build up to at some point where he has to do it out yeah. of necessity. But he, uh, he's actually in his, his uh, hospital, you know, robe, right? He's just, yeah. you know, the, the thing that's got the, the backs open. And yeah. he's not he's not got time to change it his costume, so he just puts the mask on. So he comes out in just the mask and then the hospital, like, she, yeah. And he's like, hey, bad guy. And she starts making fun of him. And he's like, hey, a lot of people in here, let's take this outside. So that's actually the cliffhanger. It's him in his hospital gown, with just the mask on, taking on this That's new funny. Villain. That's uh, the most Spider-Man thing I've heard in this yeah. book that people are saying is DC Spider-Man. No, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I actually think it was a slight step up. And I enjoyed the first one well enough. It just wasn't like, blowing my way. I, I think it's setting up its cast of characters. And I, I think the best thing this book did was is it lowered it down to the personal level again and gave us just a simpler villain at the end that we can deal with next issue. I, I think that was a smart move uh, just to sort of make us... Yeah sort of, you know, connect to the characters a little bit. My favourite part of the book is, by far right now, is uh, his relationship with Ernie, his best friend. Uh, she she's, seems really likeable. She's got a very kind of... she think kind of Lana Lang, but she's also the one who, like I think, made his suit, so she's very practical, yeah. and she helps him. Yeah. So uh, I, I really like their partners in crime kind of vibe that they've got going on. Uh, yeah. but, so I, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, I'm, I, I am concerned it's not going to last very long, though, so if I get invested, it's going to be done yeah. in, like... 12, 18 issues, but hey. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe I'll end up in a team somewhere. But then again, if the supporting cast is my favourite part, do I care if he ends up in a team yeah. somewhere? I don't know. But, not really. Yeah.